this video, we'll be walking through the setup of Email to Case in Service Cloud. So let's begin by enabling the setting for Email to Case. So we'll click our large care icon and click on Service Setup. In our Quick Find box, type Email and then click on Email to Case. If this is your first time accessing this area, you'll see a screen describing Email to Case. You can check the box for Don't Show Me This Page Again and then click Continue. Then click Edit. So first we want to ensure that the Enable Email to Case checkbox is checked. And you can also choose to notify case owners on new emails. We also recommend checking the Insert Thread ID in the Email Subject and Email Body checkboxes. So let's go ahead and save that. Now if we scroll down to routing addresses, we can choose to add our new routing address. If you're using Outlook, make sure to check Outlook in the drop-down list. So then click New. So here is where we enter the information for our support email address. So let's call it Support Inbox. Copy in our email address. And if you're using Outlook, you want to also choose a case owner here by default. This, however, will be overwritten by any assignment rules you create. We want to make the case origin email and also change the case record type to a specific record type if you've chosen to create any additional record types for your cases. Then click Save and then click OK. After saving your email address, Salesforce will generate an email for you to verify your Salesforce email routing address. So let's go check out our email. Click on the verification link, click continue, now you have verified your email address. If we go back to setup and copy this long email address that Salesforce generates for forwarding and go back to our email client and click on settings and then click forwarding and pop IMAP we can add this forwarding address to our email client. That's it. Now that you've set up your email to case, any email sent to your email address will be created as cases in Service Cloud.